this message brought to you by the Oddworld Apes Origins Kickstarter package, which recently reached all of its stretch goals. If that's not your cup of tea, you can always check out Ballistic Publishing's Art of the First 10 Years of Oddworld Inhabitant, which comes highly recommended from the owner of number 642 of the Limited Collector's Editions. Go check him out now. Follow me. A new year, new video resolution, and a whole lot more Hello. content. Hey guys, Saxdude26 here, and welcome back to... Let's play Old World Abe's Odyssey Extras! Completely remade from the ground up. I loved doing Old World New and Tasty Blind, and I figured the best way to conclude that playthrough would be to redo the extra footage from my first playthrough, but featuring the content and quality that I couldn't produce the first time. So, today we're looking at Attract Mode, which is essentially the demos at play if you leave the game idle at the title screen long enough. But one thing I never showed off originally was the different versions of Abe's Odyssey. The PlayStation version, the PC version, and the Japanese Abe Go Go version. I figured because Attract Mode doesn't have much to stand on alone, this would be a really good opportunity to showcase all three versions together. So that's what we're doing today, starting with the PC version. In Paramonian Temple. With the swinging rocks. Ouch. Yeah. But yeah. This gives me an opportunity to actually showcase Abagogo. So here it is. Here is its title screen. The English has been changed to Japanese Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. And as you're going to see, the voice acting has been replaced entirely with Japanese voices. I should note though, the game is only about 80% Japanese. As you can see, the Apes Odyssey sign is still in English, and so is the Scrap Cake sign. But the status indicators and the screen displays are all in Japanese, all have their own font, color, all of the voices have been changed. There is actually quite a lot that has gone into localizing that game. Hello. And this I think is what the Attract Mode videos were missing when I did them the first time. Now there is actually going to be a proper showcase of content. So I'm really looking forward to showing this all to you. So going back to the PC version for Demo 3, you'll notice okay. the trapdoors are purple and black instead of red and black. You'll also notice that the levers are a lot duller than they are in the PlayStation version. So they're not quite as brown, they're more of a greyish colour. The screen displays are also a lot more angular in the font that they use. And the resolution is a lot crisper in the PC version too. Whereas you switch to the PlayStation version for Demo 4, the resolution is much smoother. The colour on the levers now looks more wooden, which is why I've always seen these levers as looking wooden. And the status indicators, the text is a lot more blocky. I might be a bit biased, but I prefer the blockier text. And the smoother rendering. But I cannot deny the crispness that has gone into the presentation of the PC version. And now for Demo 5 things get, start to get a bit silly. In the PC version, Abe just runs off the edge. In the PlayStation version, he chants to open the portal and goes through. I will say, while it makes more sense for the hand scars to win Ratcon to be consistent from Exodus onwards, I do still love the original designs for those hand scars. Back for Demo 6 in the PC version! <laughs> Riveting. I point this out because Demo 6 for the PlayStation version is actually completely different, and it has a sneaking through the shadows. And one thing you'll be able to notice right now is that you can't even tell yet which PlayStation version I'm playing. Mostly because the Rupture Farm sign is in English for both Abagogo and the regular PlayStation release. When we go through the door, you'll be able to tell which one it is, though. Save point. In Abagogo, every time Abe reaches a new reload point, save point turns up in Katakana next to him, floating up the same way the numbers do when he picks up rocks or grenades. This is actually taken directly from the PC version, where if you reach the checkpoint, 
a white diamond would appear from Abe in the exact same fashion. And I really like the fact that even though Abegogo is only a PlayStation release, it happened after the PC release. So they took that idea from the PC version and brought it back to that secondary PlayStation release, which I love. It was a very intelligent move and it gives it a lot more dynamism, I think. No, Abe. No, you cannot go to Zulog 2. And what which one's next? I'm pretty sure it's the escape. Yes, it is. So yeah, I love the fact that they added in the save point notification to Abegogo from the PC version. Another thing I want to note, actually, is that in New and Tasty, you have the option to select your language. And recently I found out Japanese is one of those languages. And save for, of course, the fact that there's no Japanese voice acting, it effectively transforms New and Tasty into a HD version of Abegogo. Again, bar whatever's in the cutscenes. Which is interesting, because in Abegogo, that to stockyard sign is still in English. Even though the one that's in the actual area is in Japanese. Tiny things. It's mostly nitpicky, but it really doesn't change anything. It was just something interesting that I noticed when I was finding out more about the way it was localized and the way it was put together. Don't get me wrong, Abagogo actually has a lot going for it, and I'm hoping past the demo showcase to be able to show more of the stuff that it has working in its favor. Heading to Paramonian Nests now. You might not have been able to hear it, but the screech in the nest's chase music is different for the PC version. Tiniest thing, but I've played the game enough to have noticed Hello. it. Hello. That's the okay. thing, from an audio perspective, Abe's Odyssey across all three versions really isn't that different. Oh yay, we're at the secret passage now. I have a distinct memory as a kid, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the playthrough, of doing this one and failing and failing and failing to a point where something in the game from the motion detectors in the area with the second scrap and it just plonked the moving bomb there without detection permanently that was heck I did I was not fond of that glitch whatever it was I just I felt like if I die too many times in the secret passage I'm never getting through now to the stockyards again notice the landmine it's blue in the same way the trapdoors are purple in the PC version, the landmines are blue. And that's actually something that's shown in the instruction manual for all versions. Oh yes. I like that because it's a temple, they've gone very traditional with the Japanese language. There is no katakana in that sign. And you may not have noticed it, but the story stone had three fingers. I have ranted so many times about the connotations that the censorship has had for making Abagogo. I'm not going to delve into it again here. Diamond! And diamond. But yes, the three fingers, which was present in Exodus and Munch's Odyssey originally, was part of a censorship aspect that was done for Ada Gogo. And I have ranted about it in my Old World Adventures playthrough terribly, so I'm not going to touch on that a second time. For now, we focus on the demo, here are mosaic lines, jumping through the first aid portal that you have to go through. Again, not including the ones in Secret Passages. And then we get to the PC version and this happens. And that now counts twice that Abe has ignored an Abe portal and chanting entirely. I've always been suspicious that that's partly to do with the programming. Because in the PlayStation versions, it's done with the shoulder buttons in combination. But in the PC version, it's all mapped to one button. So it sometimes makes me wonder, is that chanting aspect not ported across from the demo particularly well? Because the button combination is different. Only thing is, Abe does chant in other demos very consistently across multiple versions. So, I don't know. Back to Paramonian Temple. But yes, this is definitely the more lackluster of the extra videos. 
I'm just glad that this time around I actually have something fundamental to showcase. Because, especially after having done all of New and Tasty, it is the version of this game I go back to the most now. But, I am really enjoying looking back at the quality of where this game came from again. And it kind of means that I get to actually showcase some more Abe's Odyssey footage in the playthrough as well, which I love. Ah, <laughs> uh, I solely kept that in just so he could use Wakari Masen in plain form. Is that literally the- That was literally the only reason I kept that clip in. It was no different for the regular PlayStation version. I did it solely so he could say, I don't understand, in plain form. I know too much about the Japanese language. <laughs> anyway, we're here in Scribania. You will have seen the diamond already. But I'm pretty sure in the next screen there are hint flies, which are present in New and Tasty, but are specifically only here in the PC version of the originals. Unless I'm wrong and they're in Abagogo, but I'm pretty sure Abagogo keeps all the hint fly positions and only adds a checkpoint mechanic. Oh yeah, and then the sound glitch. The sound glitch that is in, present in all versions. It didn't matter which version I tried to record this demo for. Happens for PC. Happens for PlayStation. Happens for Japanese. It's in all of them. And now we're back to the PC version here in... Colombia for that. And showcasing more of the text scrolling, I guess. Oh yes, Stockyard Return. Or is it the Free Fire Zone? Still don't know. Rolling into bombs. That was the one thing I always found hilarious about the demos, is they consistently find ways to kill Abe in stupid fashions. Which is going to be fun, because I am planning on doing something similar to this for Abe's Exodus, because I never touched on the demo footage. Just because I was ready to move on to other playthroughs and didn't care as much. But I figure I'm going to be doing something similar to this for Exodus in the lead up to the release of Soulstorm. Because as much as I hear people say it, I'm going to put it concretely in this video now. Soulstorm is not Abe's Exodus HD. Soulstorm is Abe's Exodus with a fleshed out, unique plot. Does it have the same core concepts? Yes. Is it the same game? No. PC demo! Here in Zulag 3. There are reasons why Abe is acting as bizarrely as he is. Because he's not meant to do that. In the PlayStation demo, he gets the Sligs' attention, runs to the ledge, and obviously, possesses him. This is why I'm so convinced it's the chanting that throws off some of these demos, because every bit of movement that Abe was doing was, you know, saying, follow me, and then walking over here, and then shoving, and then saying, yeah, and all that stuff. And it all corresponds to the Slig game speak that he would be using. Follow me. Okay. Back here in the PC version. Saving the middle to get back to Rupture Farms too. Not a whole lot else going on in that demo. Though I love how that was turned into a Shrikel portal in New and Tasty though. Three fingers on the directory! Also, status indicator font numbers that are different. I found that so interesting. Not only is the text font different for all three versions, but so are the numbers. The numbers are more rounded for the Japanese. And they're purple as well, which I found interesting. Regardless, back to here. Can you guess what's gonna happen? Yeah, this is another one of those instances where had a chanted, he would have done what he was supposed to. Unfortunately, he didn't. So, we skip across to the PlayStation demo to show what should have happened. I'm pretty sure he gets, yeah, gets rid of the slog. And shoots a Mudoka. Doing the Korma episode for this is going to be painful. That's for sure. Back to the PC version, ignoring the Mudokin, going to here. Pretty sure he just gets his legs dropped down and then just gets shot from memory. 
<laughs> I just find the fact that he's like, Hi, Slick. I'm a fart at you. Because that's a smart idea. I really do like the way soul rings were done for new and tasty. And I like the fact that the Shrikel wasn't just made of another soul ring. There was an, a solid form of energy to it with the red lightning. I do like that. Because that's the thing. The soul rings are an easy way to represent the powers in the PlayStation versions. But I like that new and tasty had the freedom to go, let's make it unique. Let's make it seem harder to obtain. Let's make it godly. And that was just so bo bone-chillingly, spine-tinglingly enjoyable. But I do still get that hit of nostalgia, looking at Age Odyssey regular all over again. Come on, Abe. That did not go well for you. Ape does have a bad habit of just standing there and waiting to get shot in a lot of these demos. Oh, I did use, um, Ape Go Go for this one. The, so the Sikkim signs are in English, but the, um, but where I slug signs are all in, uh, Japanese. I love it. But yeah. The one thing I'm sad about is I didn't get to show off that Abe will have- all Mudokans have three fingers in the cutscenes. Which hasn't actually been edited in particularly badly. I just found it interesting they only put fingers and not the text for the signs and such. But considering everything's three-dimensional, I guess there is a limitation. And with that, that is all of the demos for Attract Mode of Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. So that's it for this extra video. Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you next time for the cheats and codes. Until then, this has been Saxu26. Stay odd, everyone.